In this movie, we'll take a look at how we can use our basic controls in order to correct an image which is underexposed. This is a photograph that I captured down at the beach on an overcast day, and I like the details of the ocean in the background, but the subject is a little bit too much in the shadows there. We need to brighten that area up. So let's go to our basic controls that we have here. With our basic controls, we might start off with exposure, and here we'll drag the exposure to the right to brighten up the subject there so there's more focus on him. Yet as we do that, we brighten up the overall image and we realize the background now is too bright. So we need to take a different approach. Whenever you make an adjustment to a slider, and if you want to reset just a single slider, you can double click it right there. If you have multiple sliders that you've adjusted and you want to reset all of those, click on the default button above and that will reset all of those sliders back to their default setting of zero. All right. Well, let's get on with the project here. The image is underexposed. In particular, the subject is too dark there. I need to brighten up the subject. I need to brighten up the shadows. So let's go down to our shadow slider. With the shadow slider, as we drag this to the right, you can see how we can bring in some detail into that part of the photograph. Drag this to the left, and we're going to darken up and lose all of those shadows. Can you see how we're really targeting that part of the photograph? So here, I'll bring in some light into that part of the image. Now, as I do that, I like the way the subject looks, but the overall photograph is still a bit too underexposed. I want to brighten it up with exposure. So here we'll drag our exposure slider to the right and brighten up the overall look in the photograph. As I do that, one problem is that the ocean may be becoming too bright. Well, we can go down to our highlight slider here, and we can drag this to the left or the right. And if you forget which way to drag these sliders, think of going to the right as more and then to the left as less, and just drag it until you find which way will work best. Here I want to bring back more detail, so I'm going to drop the highlight value down so we have a little more detail there. Next we can do the same thing with our whites, just to darken that white point a touch. We can also deepen those blacks if we want to, to craft that look. Again, it's just customizing the way the image appears. And here I'm just going to modify these sliders because really, it's a mix of all of these sliders together that will give us the best look. Now we'll talk more about previewing the before and after view of our photographs, but for now, I'm just going to tap the P key, and here we can see the before, and then tap it again, and you can see the after, how we really corrected the exposure in the image so that it now looks much better. And the trick, of course, is to keep in mind that as you use these basic sliders, typically what you'll do is start up at the top and make your way down. But at the same time, it really is the mix of all of the sliders together. So as you saw here with this project, we jumped around a little bit. We worked with our shadows and our exposure and contrast and highlights and whites and blacks. And then we went back around and fine-tuned any of these sliders until we got it exactly where we wanted it so that our image looked its best 